Welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection designed to deliver a powerful message from Apostle Joshua Selman right to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also ignite inspiration for greatness within you. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the profound in before we dive deeper. I warmly invite you to actively participate in this significant moment. Show your support by liking the video, sharing it with those around you who may find it valuable, and subscribing to our channel for a consistent flow of insightful content. Your support is genuinely appreciated and plays a vital role in our ability to continue sharing these meaningful messages. As you tune in to absorb this special message, may blessings overflow into your life. Embrace the profound wisdom offered by Apostle John. In the name of Jesus, every family, every individual, every destiny that has been tied down by altars of limitation so that you will not move forward. Maybe you are a mother, maybe you are a father, maybe you are a man of God, maybe you are a businessman, maybe you are coming here for the first time, watching online, and it looks like there are altars that have vowed that you will not move forward. I stand by this mantle. I have been anointed by God to declare your liberty. Right now, may the power of God come upon you. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. Altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. Altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. Some of you are standing not only for yourself. I want to pray for families here. Whole families that have been tied down. It looks like Every altar sitting on the Gapagosh Kadikata, sitting on the glory of any family. If I be sent by God, I stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. May fire fall upon that altar now. May fire fall upon that altar. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare. I declare my release. Every limitation, no matter how long, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Is someone praying? Those following online, I release that anointing upon you from America to Europe to Nigeria, parts of Africa. I declare, may the anointing of the Spirit touch you right in your room, in your office, right now. I set you free. Yokes of limitation be delivered now. Every chain that has tied your hand and tied your feet. Hold on, please. Listen, we are still praying. In Acts chapter 12, watch this now. When Peter was in the prison, they tied two parts of his body. Number one, his hands. That's a symbol of your productivity. Number two, your feet. That is the symbol of your advancement. They didn't tie his mouth. They didn't tie his eyes. But they tied his hand and his feet. And the Bible says they bound him. That means to bind a man. It is not every part of him you need to tie. If you can tie his productivity and tie the basis for his advancement, that man is bound. Let me release someone by the anointing of the spirit. I declare your hands spiritually. My God, fire is coming on people's hands now. This hand.
hands that have not been released maybe your father's hand was tied and all through his lifetime he lived a miserable life maybe your mother's hand was tied some of you the hands of your siblings i come holding the key of david given by the god of heaven himself in the name of jesus may those chains be loose from your hands loose from your feet loose from your hands loose from your feet loose from your hands loose from your feet man of god i release you it's time for your ministry to open up i release you apostle prophet teacher makadosh keteketa every altar sitting on your ministry every altar sitting on your ministry be released now When Jesus was buried, it was not just enough that he was put in a tomb. The Bible said a stone was used to cover that place. So when Jesus resurrected, it was not just enough to come out to rise from the dead. That stone needed to be rolled away so he would come out. Same thing happened with Lazarus. Let me roll away any stone. When it was time for Lazarus to come back to life, let me speak to someone. Everything dead in your life, hear the word of the Lord. Talita Kumi, come alive, come alive, come alive. Every mantle, every door of favor, every opportunity that has been closed over your destiny. Everything that has died, hear the word of the Lord. Your influence, your relevance, come back to life now. Come back to life now. He said, Son of man, can these bones live again? He said, Only thou knowest. He said, Prophesy. I want to prophesy. Oh, bones can come back to life. Dead businesses can come back to life. Dead spiritual dimensions. You used to have dreams, prophetic encounters. You used to pray for hours, but now something has happened to your life. May that fire come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Hear me. When there is an attack in your life, there are three things that you will lose. Number one, the first thing that you will lose to tell you that the devil is attacking your life is your peace. The second thing that you will lose when the devil is attacking your life is the gift of men. If you lose money, it was not an attack. It can just be a business mistake. But when you lose men, I assure you, it's an attack. Hallelujah. Look at this. Every point in the life of Jesus, men and angels came to attend to him. But when he was on his way to go to the cross, men ran away from him. Only one man out of the multitudes of people he had helped to build and raise and do all of this, one walked with him and held the cross for him aside from John and his mother at the cross. So when you begin to lose your peace, number two, when you begin to lose the gift of man, it is an attack from the pit of hell. Hallelujah. The third thing that you will know as a sign that is an attack is passion. Passion for the things of God. Passion for your destiny. 
passion for actualizing your goals nothing matters again your fight the bible says the zeal of the lord will perform this there is something called the zeal of the lord when you lose your peace when you lose men when you lose passion know immediately that there is an attack i want to declare these three things over your life before we sit down number one the bible says now the lord of peace himself will give you peace always and by all means i want to prophesy that by all means dimension of peace that means whatever it takes for your peace in the name of jesus may god make it so in your life that by all means order of peace enjoy it in the name of jesus number two there are some of you who have jobs but you do not have men some of you have intellect you don't have men some of you have churches but you do not have men men are very important men are in many cases a sign that god is with you i have taught you that the proof of favor is not money the proof of favor is access to the hearts of men in the name of jesus christ i call to your life the ministry of men i call to your life the ministry of men enjoy the ministry of men enjoy divine connectors enjoy men of influence enjoy gifted men enjoy burden bearers in the name of jesus christ finally before you sit let me pray for your passion some of you your dreams have died because you are no longer serious about it everything you said you would do this year the zeal some of you even for ministry you may be men and women of god but sincerely that zeal again the zeal to fast gone zeal for god gone zeal for your goals gone the resilience to push towards your destiny is gone right now by the power that raised christ from the dead i'm speaking as a prophetic word for someone let your zeal be restored let your zeal be restored your zeal for the house of god your zeal for the things of god your zeal for the pursuit of your destiny be restored in the name of jesus please open your mouth in one minute and receive i declare that i receive in the name of jesus for those in front i decree and declare the hand of god rests upon you that which you have been delivered from will never return to you again you walk in the liberty that is in christ go and return with your testimonies in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ you see if you're a man of god here please listen it is very good to be excellent and organized but it's also very important to be discerning because one moment god when god is sending people to come here he's attentive to the need of everyone even though they may seem like there are thousands of people and tens of thousands others following by way of internet let me tell you when god deals with men he deals with men corporately but he deals with men individually are we together now for the sake of one person god can wake a man of god and say make sure you suspend five minutes of your sermon until you address that person's pain this is the god that we serve so i'm um, whether you are in this auditorium or all of the overflows to the basement or outside or following by way of internet please do not allow the devil deceive you that you are so far you are beyond sight that means you don't know who god is the bible says jesus left one side of the sea the disciples almost lost their life and went to gadara to meet only one man deliver that man set him free and return back that's how far he can go for the sake of one person hallelujah so when god brings words like this 
among the many things that these words reveal is the depth of his love he lets you see and he lets you know that for your sake that when he's sending you to church you may be seated inside or seated outside and you may be wondering i don't think i count among the tens of the thousands of people around but that's not the way god works he can send a word and make it look like you are the only one in that church and address your issue and address your issue there are times you can be thinking and say god in my simple faith if you are the one talk to me about this and the man of god can stop his sermon and address that issue because god wants to go that far to give you confidence that he is dependable hallelujah praise the name of the lord all right so be seated for one minute again we'll pray don't be tired of praying ask the lord again to reveal his counsel to you go ahead pray let it be from the depth of your heart let it be from the depth of your heart are you praying don't be tired hallelujah praise the name of the i am confident that the sermons you've encountered have been a source of blessings elevating your life and inspiring a heartfelt commitment to serving god wholeheartedly we warmly invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you stay connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription represents more than just a click. It signifies a commitment to continuous spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aims to be a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and believers alike. We firmly believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our goal is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom illuminate your path. Thank you for being an integral part of this uplifting journey, and may God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Flaming Channel, and visit our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God bless you abundantly.